You know, I was thinking this weekend, we're in for a fight. We're in for a very big fight because I was looking at what's going on with um, the Corporate Transparency Act, what's going on with AI and the things that are happening because with inflation and all of these things, like I was watching a report of how what's happening in Florida is going ridiculous with condo owners because so many insurance companies have left the state of Florida. They're like, we're out of here. This has forced the companies that are still serving Florida to dramatically increase their prices because of some of the things that are happening with the Florida condos. They're supposed to have these 20 and 30 year reviews and updates and fix stuff because of, I forget the name of this condo that collapsed in Florida and many people died. So what we're having is a big, big change in the economy. We're having a huge, huge change in what's going on, what is happening and how we relate to the economy. And, you know, once again, I am a big, big fan of starting businesses. And now starting businesses has become quite complicated on the back end. Starting a business, going ahead, doing something to start some money on the front end or as a sole proprietor is very easy. But now with this Corporate Transparency Act, because I, I was thinking about that, I was like, how much crime is going on with these companies that they are going to literally overhaul corporations, something that hasn't happened in the United States of America for over a hundred years. hundred years, this hasn't happened. So why they're doing this in, here's some of my theories and insights on why this is happening. Number one, starting a corporation, starting a business and being successful moves you up in life. Undeniable, it moves you up in life. And right now we have, I don't even know who to call these people to address, but we have, let's call them entities. Let's call them corporate entities that are trying to stall out the average American dream. Like one of the things, like I, I talked about this before, I'm seeing a lot of people put up these videos, how you can make 40, 50, 60, $70,000 a month in 30 days. And these videos are not getting views. People are not watching these videos because they are pretty sure that this claim that, hey, today I am working at the counter at Subway Tomorrow I'll be a cybersecurity um, contractor making five hundred thousand dollars. People like eh, that, that ain't real, and I'm like I'm starting to see a lot of these videos just fall, fall, fall really, really hard because I think that people are looking for reality. People are looking for solid solutions. People are looking for things that work. This is why I think. DoorDash has such a huge YouTube population because you can go to a restaurant, pick up food, take it in your car and deliver it to a customer. That's something anyone can do. And you can do DoorDash, you can do Uber, you can do Lyft, you can do Spark. And these um, YouTube channels that talk about these activities are exploding. So, People are really looking, taking a, a hard look at what's being put out in terms of something that can actually make them some money, actually change their life, actually do things that are going to increase what they want to do in life. So big part of this is, and this is, this is where I kind of hang out. I got to make some drastic changes because going ahead, anyone can set up a LLC, anyone can set up a holding company. That's the easy part. That's really, really the easy part. The hard part is 
dealing with the unknowns of the Corporate Transparency Act. And this is why I say the unknowns, because this is what we're told right now. We're told that Corporate Transparency Act is gonna come out and you know we just have to report our ownership. I just don't think it's just gonna stop there. I, don't, I have no, no faith that it's just gonna like, hey, you, you file an LLC, you report your LLC to this entity and that's gonna be the end of it. I think there at some point are going to be lawsuits. I think there's going to be because there's, there's just so much more to this. And with that, you know, my whole mandate has been start a business, start, set up a holding company, set up subsidiary LLCs, which puts you right in harm's way of these new laws. And, you know, like I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to keep doing it. But for the person who's unsure, for the person who doesn't have uh, some stuff that's ironed out, this could be somewhat dangerous. This could be somewhat dangerous to their future if they just make a little mistake. Like you go ahead, you, you already have the understanding, you need to fill this stuff out and you fill it out, you put your home address and then you move and you forget to update that form. That's where it gets you. Because I, I think the lion's share of people have no problem filling out the form and doing this stuff. That's not the issue. It's gonna be when you move or you set up a new corporation or you do all this other stuff. And I think that CPAs, I think that uh, people who do books, I think they're gonna be well averse to this and they're gonna tell you. They're gonna tell you because the penalties are so high. The penalties are crazy for, in my estimation, making a little mistake. If you fill out the form and everything and then you move and you forget to update that form, to me that's a little mistake. That's not some mouth, that's not something criminal, but that move could cost you a lot of money. And if you don't have the money, it could cost you some jail time. And that right there, that that's the thing that really really puts the big pause button on this thing for me so what we got to do is actually become even more correct in terms of dress right dress knowing the things that we have to do setting up these things establishing ourselves and uh, doing these things in a manner that makes sense so with that, we're going to have to be very much on corporate compliance. You know, you got to go ahead and just put this down like, hey, I have these companies that are up. Once again, your companies must be up and active. If you formed an LLC like four years ago and you did nothing with it, there's no business check account, there's no banking, you don't even have to report that. It's about your active LLCs. Now, if you do turn that four-year-old corporation into an active LLC, at some point, you will have to report that. And one of the things I'm looking at, like this morning, you know, I had to um, go run some errands and some stuff. And I noticed that this morning was full of bad energy and when I'm talking about where I had to go to run the errand I had to wait then there was something going on with the parking deck and there, it, it was just in, it was just one of those mornings where being expressed and moving quickly just wasn't happening it just wasn't happening so what you have to do I feel is to regulate yourself in the manner that you've never regulated yourself. You would have to set yourself up in a really different mind frame, set yourself up in a different category. You would have to set yourself up in a whole different way of thinking because what's going on right now is pretty, pretty, pretty significant to what's happening in the world today. And one of the things that you should be aware of is you can still choose to be successful. It's just that choice now has a lot more hanging up from it than it used to. Because like I said, they haven't changed corporate laws. They haven't changed these things 
for over 100 years. Why now? Why under the Trump administration? Why now? Why is this such a big pressing issue to get this law on the books? And I don't think that, you know, I don't think it's going to stop any criminal activity. And I'm going to explain to you why. There's two kinds of criminals. There's the regular run of the mill criminal and there's the super smart criminal. So the super smart criminals, guess what they're going to do? They're going to report these corporate entities and I'm going to tell you how they're going to do it. The, what the super dog, what the super criminals are going to do is go out and get a bird dog. They're going to find an elderly person or an aunt or uncle or hire someone. And this is going to be the focal point. It's like, you're going to file this report for us and they're going to be paid. And once again, this will do nothing to dissuade criminal activity, money laundering, because if you are a super successful criminal, and look, let's understand, if you're making millions of dollars from your criminal enterprise, you're a pretty, you're a super successful criminal and you can't be stupid in doing that. So what they're gonna do, and also what I think is gonna happen is what these super successful criminals are gonna do is go offshore, get a foreign um, passport, or go ahead and get a corporate dog in another country who doesn't have a social security number, who's gonna come over here and start an LLC, and it's gonna go back to this foreign country. And that's gonna be really, really hard to prosecute. That's gonna be really, really hard to put someone in jail who's in another country. And legally, uh, what you can do is someone in another country can legally come here and set up an LLC. So that this, this, this whole dog and pony show as I would refer to it, it's going to be pretty meaningless into actually going out and catching criminals because once again, the type of criminals that they want to catch are not stupid. The type of criminals that they want to um, go ahead and get their hands on are not common average or normal criminals. These are high level criminals. Because like I said, if you, you got millions of dollars coming in every month, that is not a normal criminal enterprise. That's a high tech, high level criminal enterprise. And I don't think they're gonna be able to catch any of these guys um, who are doing this because number one, they have the money. Number two, they have the intelligence. Number three, they have the network. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they're so far ahead on this Corporate Transparency Act and they've actually hired people and even got more information than what we can get a hold of. So I, I don't think it's going to do that. But the, the whole thing is that um, this has become very much a big point. I feel that what is happening is this is an effort to push people even further down. This is an effort to keep people in the container. This is an effort to keep people out here struggling, uh, to keep people who are trying to build something, trying to create something, to keep them in a certain loop, to keep them in a certain spot. So. That's one of the things that I see that we have going on. And another thing that I see is that the average person is going to be under so much financial pressure. It's just going to be stupid because with the high cost of rent, the high price of ownership, the high car notes, I just think the financial pressure is going to be very, very stiff for the average person and the average person is gonna to have to do something different to be able to put money into their pocket. Because here's the thing, you could do your internet business as a sole proprietorship, you can have your YouTube channel in your name, you can have whatever in your name and that would eliminate the need for you to file for this corporate transparency thing because there is no separation between you and your business. And when you file your taxes, all that information comes out. However, I don't think that this corporate transparency thing is actually going to get rid of secret 
hidden ownership. And what do I mean by that? Once again, I'm talking about the upper level criminals who are making all this money. They can go out and hire someone to act as a proxy. And this is something I'll share with you. Like years and years ago, I had someone who came to me who was having child support issues. And he was like, you know, every time I get a raise, you know, she goes to court. It's like, I can't make no money. I can't get ahead. And this man was paying like close to $3,000 a month in child support. And he had this great business idea. And I was like, um, all right, so who do you have in your family that you can trust? Perhaps an elderly uncle or aunt or your mom or someone. And he says, I got my uncle, my uncle Jay. Well, sit down with uncle Jay, explain the whole situation, tell him everything and why you need his help. So what he did is his, his uncle Jay became the founder of his LLCs and his holding companies and stuff. And he went on to build this really big business where he was making millions and she couldn't touch him. And this was just a child support situation. So the number of people who are gonna be the J-Rocks, the number of folks who are gonna act as proxies, that's gonna become a real thing. And it's just gonna keep the true ownership because, I mean, someone came to you and was like, hey man, I need you to set up my LLCs and all this other stuff. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to run any business and all taxes will be paid. And I'll just give you a thousand bucks, boom. A lot of people would take that deal. A lot of people would take that deal. It's like a thousand bucks for just using my name. So you, you, you have a whole bunch of stuff that is going on, that is happening, where we're going to have to govern ourselves very, very differently in this new world. That's the reality. We're just going to have to govern ourselves very, very differently. So let me know your thoughts and opinions, because like, um, I'm getting ready to switch up a lot of the stuff that I'm doing. So we will see what that comes out and looks like. But yeah, we're going to have to move in a very different way going forward to build our businesses, to create the things that we want to create. We're going to have to move very, very differently.